Look who I found. Why are you still working out after the spring game, bro? Mm -hmm. You're not going to take a vacation? Not yet. Not yet? Um, Coming soon. So what's the plan for today? We're going to start this workout. We're going to get in the hot tub. Mm. We're going to go eat. We're going to go to tutoring. Then I'm going to go home. Then I got this podcast I'm doing with my mom. Oh, that's hard. And then I'm going to go get my windows tinted. See, y'all don't even know. His mom be doing a lot of media, too, so... He not he not new to this. His dad too. I just asked your dad. I said, I know you got a bad reputation of uh, scaring cameramen off, but can I follow you? Like, you know, for the DBs and stuff like that. He was like, Nah, you good, you good. I won't spaz on you too much. So I got the pass with Big Mathis because he he gets scary when he gets angry. <laughs> when he gets angry, it's like I don't want to be over there, bro. But he be teaching the DBs a lot, so I'm like, that's good content. But I'm just scared. I don't want to get yelled at. Yep, I'm gonna try to do some field work. See if we can get Dylan Edwards up here with me. There's nobody left along this wall right here. Except, Except for me. Guys. Yeah. Except for Darius. <laughs> I made no room for Darius. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no one left, bro. I feel like I'm in here by myself. Don't get, don't, um, don't, uh, don't fret. Cam's still here. Cam's literally right here. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm across from them so I can just record them. So it's still going to be a lot of funny stuff going on. But we're going to have a new cast and crew, I guess. We're going to miss Tay. Tay, my guy, man. We're going to miss you, Tay. I miss rounding you up, bro. <laughs> so all good things must come to an end. <laughs> the routing up must come to an end. Yeah. The routing up must come to an end, Tay. Uh, so why did you decide not to hit the portal? I'm a walk on. I've been wanting to come here, so. But you can still hit the border. I could, but I want to stay here. I want to be here. So, be here. Yeah. so tell them your name. My name is Bo, Bo Lepena. Inside linebacker, freshman. Just walked on last semester before prime came. Yeah. So it's just a better opportunity for me to work harder. All right. How you feel Caleb did in, on his debut, his Colorado debut as a freshman too? He putting on for the freshman, bro. Who, Caleb? Yeah. Oh. I see him. He went crazy. Yeah, he had a couple good catches. Uh -huh. Catching run. Yes, sir. We got some things. So I get the turkey breast or the burger? The burger. But you about to work out, so I don't know. Yeah. I need a burger. Burger's gonna be good. Oh, this is my guy Slush. You know, the spring game. Get a little song. Y'all gonna mess with the music. Y'all know what it's going on. Hey, what? what, what, what hey, hold, 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 hold. He, he don't get to do my introduction. What'd you say my name was, gang? Bree? My name is Kendrick. He put you. Bro, what the heck? Throw that thing. Crispy onion. I'm gonna get some of those. Who, who else eating like this? You know? You know who I contact? I'm trying to get on the portal. Hey, hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> your dad? My daddy. Hey, y'all. Uh, you know, like compliance or something? That's what I got to do? Nah, your dad. I'm rubbing. Even my hand is dirty, man. <laughs> what, did he, what did he just do? He just rubbed my hand, fam. And this, I was just. He ain't lying, bro. <laughs> my mama was grabbing my chicken with his same hand. Bro, bro what you like, rub, why does he do that? And he I'm did lying. it slowly. Too. Oh, God, he did it slowly. <laughs> now he gasped. Man, it was gentle. Oh, God, it was gentle. It was gentle. Yo, take your AirPods out, bro. No cap. No cap. Bree was just talking about being a pass to get something. Hey, no, no. I was no, bro, because I made a post at Old Miss that we was doing some full foot conditioning shit. And I said, look. God need to go ahead and tell me right now, because I'm out here dying, if I'm going to be a pastor or a truck driver. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm not keeping to keep doing this shit for no reason. But you remember that 440 shit we did? Dill, what you have against pastors, bro? I ain't got nothing against pastors. I love the church. You know, I love God. I believe in him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to you. He plagiarized my post, buddy. Plagiarized. <laughs> Are you just saying? <laughs> I ain't know what you said. Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy. Hey, this is this is this is the thing you gotta know. 
everybody done did it before you, so you might as well just think somebody's doing it right, you know what I'm saying, and keep it going. I, re I, can, I, I can respect that's the thing. I didn't, I, put him, I didn't put him on all his life since he was a like, little kid. No, you he, know what I'm saying? He's finally get, returning the favor. Let's not He's finally just returning the favor, buddy. 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 You have Hello? to cite your sources when you, you plagiarize. You got to cite your sources <laughs> when you plagiarize. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. They wrong for this, bro. I don't even think this is functional. <laughs> it's not functional, bro. It looks very long. Bro, no way, bro. Somewhere else. This one looks messed up, bro. That no. Looks... It might not be. What's it supposed to be like this? You got that one right there. Yeah, I think this is cool. That was too good. It looks like two. Yeah. You can just fold it back over. Yeah, just keep it single. Bro, wish we had another person so I get on the jug machine. They want to see how I practice my catches. You pretty much not long enough, bro. You need the real, the real long. Who has quicker for you or Dylan? Me. Dylan, you heard that. So now you need to get in the IPF. He's a faster. He really not quicker than me. I work on my hands every day. This is usually what I do. I try to get 100 catches a day. That's how you become all state. Are you good hands? Let's get like three more. Last one. Hey, these, these gas. Tear them off. This isn't sleazy flow. <laughs> Tip of the ever seen somebody hitting the hot 
With the cold pack. That's the Coke Sway though. Bro, you young, bro. You gonna see one day? You gonna see? You gonna see? <laughs> Never seen that before. Never. Yeah, I don't know if they seen the ice. Hmm? This the hop? I wouldn't be in that cold, you know. <laughs> After my experience on Saturday. What happened? It was cold. Oh yeah. Outside. Cordell was talking about this, bro. He said you'd rather have eight strong men than any. But lukewarm enthusiasm. That's what, what it was? Yeah, that's what he said. Eight men thoroughly immersed. And the true team spirit is far greater assets than 80 with lukewarm enthusiasm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, okay. Hey, this is what we need. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Dope Effect. On this show, we talk a lot about addiction and she addiction. Yelling at <laughs> Am I yelling? <laughs> Hello, guys. This is The Dope Effect. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome to The Dope Effect. On this show, we talk a lot about addiction and addiction as a mental health issue. However, today we're going to focus on mental health as it's generally understood as our social, psychological, and emotional well-being, which affects how we feel, think, and act, but specifically mental health and sports. And with me today is my son, Caleb, who is a student athlete at the University of Colorado Boulder. Now we know that at least 25 to 30% of student athletes suffer from mental health issues. And some stressors include overtraining, injury, or social media scrutiny. So Caleb, when it comes to maintaining stress to have a healthy mental space, um, how do you go about that? The way I relieve stress is by meditating. I like to give my mind a quiet space. Sometimes I walk the dog. But the main thing is my prayer life. I like to talk to God and get understanding and clarity. Awesome. So when you talk to God and you go to God in, in your quiet space, um, do you do that anywhere? Do you have a specific place that you like to go to talk to God when you're trying to relieve your stress? It's anywhere, really. Um, I'm always going to seek out God's guidance. Um, I don't think it has to be a specific place. I just have to be open to receive it. Oh, that's awesome. We know that being a student athlete comes with a lot of pressure and a lot of athletes suffer from mental health issues like anxiety and depression because they are so consumed with trying to perform well or stress about injuries or, you know, um, performing at an elite level. So why do you think that so many athletes are afraid to admit that they need mental health guidance? Well, I think that's because there's a perception that we haven't all figured out. There's also a lot of pressure to be a certain way. And if we come out about having struggles, like we come with extra problems instead of actual health issues. Wow. Well, that must be difficult to handle because feeling like you have to be a certain way and not be yourself and that the most common things that affect everyday people can make you look like you have an extra set of problems is you know, an unfortunate um dynamic of being a student athlete. Um, however, we do know that um, mental health is, is treatable and that lots of people can recover and be in good mental health space if they seek the help that they need. So how do athletes overcome um, mental health issues? Now we do know that um, having a healthy diet, getting adequate sleep, and even exercising, and in you guys' case, you, you exercise to an extreme, um, are some ways to combat mental health issues, but specifically, how do you think athletes overcome mental health issues? At Colorado, we have events with other student athletes, so also talking to them about things we go through and being able to relate to each other. Our coaches are also like family and always have our best interests, so they would also be my go-to to talk about things like that. Well, that's awesome because having that support system and peer camaraderie is essential to probably maintaining mental health because unfortunately, at least 33% of college athletes quit competing in their respective sport because their mental health becomes so imbalanced. So it's awesome to have that support system that you can have other students to rely on and that your coaches and 
I'm sure other mental health professionals in the um, athletic space are there to provide support. So Kayla, um, this has nothing to do with mental health, but so many of the fans want to know, what's it like reuniting with Dylan Edwards here at Colorado? It was great reuniting with Dylan because we used to have a nice connection and then we got back here it just instantly clicked like we didn't miss a step. But yeah, it's great playing with Dylan. Dylan's a great player, great person to be around and I'm excited to see how the season goes. Well, Kayla, thank you for joining me today on this episode of The Dope Effect. We hope that you gained some valuable information about mental health in sports and that you'll take Caleb's advice and seek help. That's my time for today, y'all. Be dope. And y'all comment below what videos y'all want next.